Hi Stamper, today I'm going to show you how to do a little booklet to put tea or gift card. Uh, I saw something similar to that when I was on the Alaskan cruise with Stamping Up. I didn't ask for the direction, so I make my own, so maybe you're going to see something similar. So let's get started. First, I'm going to show you how to do the scallop envelope, that's the Stamping Up die, but our die really don't quite fit the gift card. This it would be a regular one and look the the envelope it's a bit too small so I'm going to show you how to do a bigger size. So what we're going to do and don't worry about this card if you see the number it's an old one so you won't be able to go shopping with it. I already took care of that. What we, I'm going to start by showing you the envelope, like I said. What we're going to need, it's three of them. So you need three pieces of five by five. Fold this in two. And then we're going to expand the die. How are we going to expand the die? It's, you see, right on here, you get your scallop. Right on top, you get two equal one. We're going to go on the left side and put it in the center of it. And when you put it in the center, where it open, need to go on the right. So again, you get two, the same size there on top. We're going to go on the right side and put that right in the center. Then you're going to do your sandwich clear in the bottom and your crease pad on top. And the reason why you want your crease pad, anytime you get something with folds in it, I'm going to go at the big shot to do this. Anytime you get something with folds in them, you want the crease pad. That really helps your crease and it don't cut through it. And voila, when I open it up, ta -da! so now you get a bigger envelope. It's just give a tiny little bit bigger this way, but that's what you need for the gift card. You can expand longer to and have a longer envelope. It's no limit to it, well, the limit of twice the size. Then you see the line there where it was folded. You don't want that there. So you're going to take your bone folder and rub it. And that's going to take quite a bit off. It won't take it completely, but it's going to take quite a bit. And I want this side. I get one the other side, and I'm going to have two on this side. So what you're going to do is fold this like this. So you, oops, you want to make sure it's thin your fold there. I went off a bit. Here we go. Then... What I did on the other envelope, I put the filigree, but I put some brown in the back. I'm going to show you how to do this. You're going to take your poker and right in the center, or a little bit higher there, you're going to put your O. And then I'm going to take my half inch circle, punch a circle, put it there. Then I'm going to take my filigree put it on top of this and then I'm going to punch my hole in the center use my brad put it through don't don't close it yet then take your envelope while it's still open cuz now if not you're going to go through the old thing and you won't be able to slide stuff in it and then just open your brad after it's in your envelope and I really push it down so then it's very solid. Now we get this, fold this down, your little tab, fold it down, and oh, then wow. take your snail, I'm sorry, and then take your snail and uh, put the, right there, and right there. And then we're going to fold this. Put it there. Voila! Now we get our envelope. So we get, look, this one I went just a little bit bigger. It depends where you put it on your fold, you know. And this one too. So, now that we get this ready to go, 
we're going to do the main bow. What you're going to need, it's a piece eight and a half by eight and a half. And from this, you're going to score at four on each side. So let's pour, put the score blade. Let's score at four. And I could go deeper and go at whatever, um, you know, four and a half. But this way, I know they're both equal on each side and I just have to remember four. So now we get this done. Let's reinforce where we score. This and this. And then I already pre-done and this is the paisley paper I'm using on this one. The other one was the Green Owls uh, Gala paper. This one is the paisley paper. The other one, it's gone now. It was in the old catalog. I'm going to put this right here. And then I use the... Um, take a sip. Yeah, take a sip the the wheel. And I pre-done that, color them. We're going to put that in the bottom. Whoops. Here we go. And now, where I put my ribbon, and it's 20 inch long of ribbon that I'm using. I'm going to use my window punch. Punch a hole on the scrap here. I hope my scrap is big enough. Then take your decorative label punch and then put that in the center like this. Now, what we're going to do is take our ribbon and pass it through. I'm going to put my glue just in the back of one side here. going to decide about where I want this. Okay, now we're going to go around this. That seemed pretty good. And now I'm going to take a big filigree and secure my ribbon. So, I prepare them and I put blue this time in the back. I'm going to go in the center here and look the bigger one I put blue in the back. We're going to put this here. I don't know if it went, no it didn't went through. Let me try this again. Here we go. I think I got it. Okay now open, no I still don't. It closed on me. One second. Oh, I think my bread, it's kind of open. But, yep, yeah, it was closed on one side. You want to make sure it's closed all the way. Okay, I'm having trouble with my bread. Let me grab here another one here. Let's open this again. And then let's put this through. Here we go. Now we got it. Going to open this. Maybe if I take my bone folder, it's going to be easier. Here we go. Secure that good there. Voila. Okay, now I didn't like the way this was going. So I'm going to take the thing that we punched, the window punch there, and we're going to add some snail on that. And then push your rib in and push this there. We're going to cover back our O. Here we go. Now we're going to bring this all the way in the back, this way. Make sure it's close, you get enough. And then the same thing, we're going to put another brat there. I'm going to punch my hole right here. Okay, I don't have so thick this time, so I think this one going to go through. 
I kind of ruined my bread a bit though. Do I have it? I think so. Not just one. I get one of my bread that, oh, and I forgot my paper. One of my bread uh, legs, it's all bended. Let's try to see if we can save it. I think I got it. Yep. Now we're going to open this. And you want to do that all before you do your inside. And you're going to understand, because I don't like it when we see the the uh, Brad's uh, little pokey there. Voila. So now you're, this I'm going to try to straight it up when I'm done with the video. But you get your outside. Then we're going to put our inside. I pre-stamp with the greenhouse um Greenhouse Garden. I pre-stamped the flower there. I'm just going to add some snail. Put this here. And I'm going to have all the dimension on my uh, block. And then the tiny cup, the yellow tiny cup, I uh, pre-stamped that in the Marina Miss. And the yellow in the chocolate chip. And I'm going to put that right here. Then I did another strip. It's The strip it's one and a quarter. The blue it's one and a half. And the brown it's one and three quarter. I'm going to take that. This one I didn't color all the cups. Just a little bit. We're going to put this in the bottom. Voila. Now we just have to put our... Um, our cards. It, our, um, not cards, but our envelopes. Put some snail in the back. I start in the bottom. And then I go about half inch and I do the next one. Next one's going to be the solid one. I mean the different print, I say solid. So I'm going to go about half inch, it's about there. Put it there. And then the next one. And you are done. How cool is that? I went over on my time. Okay, and then about half inch. Put this here. And then look, you get your uh, this fit perfect in there. And then if you get your gift card, you would just slide it right on top and keep it up so they can see it. So that is it. I, uh, I hope you learned something new. Until next time, happy stamping.